as long as the United Kingdom has been required to defend itself and its interests, we have embraced the heroes it has produced. And over the years, the defenders of these isles have come in many guises. From Richard the Lionheart to Sir Francis Drake, the pilots of 1940 and, well, of course, Nelson. All our military heroes have relied on the UK defence industry to give them the right tools to protect our national values at times of crisis. Well, today the battle lines are less clear, but the need for homegrown defence innovation and industrial excellence is as important to our ongoing security as it always has been. There are nearly 9,000 UK defence companies employing over 300,000 people. Their job is keeping safe the people who keep us safe. But who are they and what do they do? Well, here are just a few highlights. BAE Systems is a leading global defence, security and aerospace company and is at the forefront of the UK's defence industry, employing over 32,000 staff. As just one example, its military air solutions business in the northwest employs around 11,500 people and produces or maintains world-renowned aircraft such as the iconic Harrier, Hawk, Tornado and Eurofighter Typhoon. BAE Systems is also investing £800 million at its Salisbury site to produce the next aircraft for the Royal Navy and Royal Air Force, the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. BAE Systems exports alone bring in an average of £4 billion per year to the UK economy. Working closely with the Royal Navy, BAE Systems surface ships provide high quality employment in areas such as the South West, Merseyside and Scotland that prove profitable to the local economy and continue our nation's enviable maritime reputation. The multinational Finn Mechanica Group is the second largest defence company in the UK. With 16 major facilities across the country, it employs more than 10,000 skilled professionals. Over the past five years, Finn Mechanica has invested almost £2 billion in the UK, including its world-class technology centres of excellence, demonstrating the attractiveness of Britain's defence sector to overseas investment. Finn Mechanica's companies design, build and support advanced helicopters, as well as supplying vehicle and platform electronic systems. The company also delivers specialist secure communication systems and improvised explosive device countermeasures, while providing integrated sensor solutions for land, air and sea, in addition to developing integrated system solutions for the UK armed forces and export markets. Based across 10 locations in the UK, Northrop Grumman provides jobs for nearly 700 specialist and support staff. The company predominantly supplies a range of defence electronics and information systems, including command and control, naval and navigational, electronic warfare, IT and unmanned ground vehicle systems. From protecting nations in need to providing homeland security, the defence industry's remit is broad in scope. UK defence companies are laying the foundation for future scientific achievement and economic security. In these troubled financial times, just how important is the defence industry to our national economy? The defence industry employs over 300,000 people. For every job created in defence, 1.6 jobs are created elsewhere in the economy. 10% of all manufacturing jobs in the UK are defence related. The sector adds an average of £12 billion each year to our economy. Exports equate to 22% of defence turnover in the UK, more than banking or finance. Well, obviously there is a very strong argument that as a nation we should capitalise on our engineering excellence and build on our export successes. According to Oxford Economics, if defence companies are given the budget to do this now, we may emerge quicker from the economic downturn and secure more jobs for the incoming graduate workforce. Well, one such success story is Vector Aerospace in Hampshire. At, at Fleetlands, we undertake the uh, repair and overhaul of rotary wing aircraft. Apprenticeships are a key part of our business. They really are a significant investment in the business and in the future of the business. We currently have over 50 apprentices going through at this site and they are really key to our future. Recruitment uh, satisfies some of our demands but by investing in a three-year training program with apprentices is key to our business.
So, Simon, talk me through what the guys are doing in here. In this business unit, we are performing depth maintenance, repair and overhaul uh, for the Lynx aircraft. So, how important is the contribution that your guys make here to our troops in Afghanistan? Any contribution we can make to assist the British Armed Forces is always very important. Any opportunity um, we have to ease that burden is very important to our business. Defence costs each of us just £11 per week, so as citizens we spend less on insurance for the country's security than we do on a quarter of a tank of petrol. Over the next year, the UK government of whatever political colour will be making key decisions on defence. The issues covered in this film should inform the forthcoming Strategic Defence Review. Whatever decisions are made, the government will need the UK-based defence industry to deliver the capabilities that our armed forces will require for the future. Buying cheaper equipment from overseas can be seen as a false economy, as foreign equipment usually costs more over its entire lifetime, thus outstripping the original value-for-money concept. The Defence Industries Council wants the government to maintain its spending budget and show its commitment to the hundreds of thousands of workers in the sector. The UK defence industry comes down to two essential parts, defending the United Kingdom and defending its economy through the jobs and productivity of the sector. According to the DIC, only by working as a team can the sector ensure mutual security, reliability of equipment, workforce trust and, of course, value for money. By supporting the UK defence industry, we are ensuring that our frontline troops receive the best equipment and that our key manufacturing regions are economically secure in the 21st century.